the kids that we call kind of on the edge, the social, economic, and kind of political edge, you know, how are they finding their way uh, through this kind of digital minefield or through this digital environment that so many kids are navigating now? So we've, we've, we decided to explore these questions by embedding ourselves uh, in a kind of urban high school for a year. Very large school, about 23, 2400 students, uh, incredibly diverse in terms of race and ethnicity, uh, incredibly, um, primarily uh, diverse in terms of race and ethnicity, uh, but a significant majority of the kids coming from what are, what are designated as disadvantaged and kind of at-risk communities, homes, you know, things of that nature. I would say that there are probably two stories that are kind of on the opposite ends of each other in terms of that have resonated with me for personal and, and, and really interesting reasons. One is a young student who we have every reason to believe will 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 be fine and, and be successful and, and kind of find his pathway. He, in fact, is in a, a four-year university right now. But, um, you know, he was someone who we had a chance to get to know in, in, the, in one of the classes that we worked with. He was really able to kind of craft his own connected learning, his own pathway to connected learning. And that's when you know it's, you know, it's there's, there's really something, it's not just a theory, that if, 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 if it happens in the real world, if those connections happen, there's, there's something, I don't want to say magical, but there's something really incredible that, that does happen. He's really on a, he's on, a, on a pathway that's just really promising. I just had a, a chance to, to visit him um, recently and just kind of talking about what he's doing now in terms of college. And, and so he, he talked about how just the experience with us over the year has really given him a, a greater sense and purpose of his own direction, uh, his own lifestyle habits. And, and then there's the other end of the, of, the, of the spectrum, a young student who we um, got a chance to know over the course of the year, had a chance to see him in two different classes, to see him involved in an after-school program. There was a film-based project where they were doing a lot of social media around the project, producing webisodes, social media content to promote the project. And they were really producing um, a film and a short uh, documentary about the, about the entire project uh, to submit to an international film festival. So this student was spending an extraordinary amount of time in the after-school space, late at night at school working on this, weekends working on this. This is something that he was clearly sort of inspired to do, something he was clearly drawn to, interested in doing. Um, and yet, as we got a, a chance to meet him and, and to know him um, uh, in, a, in a deeper way, we also began to understand the ambivalence that he had towards school more broadly, uh, particularly in terms of the core classes, how he felt bored, how he didn't feel stimulated, how he didn't feel engaged, how he simply just did not connect to what was happening in those types of classes, and yet to see him in this other environment, he did manage to graduate. And, and we, we, we realized then that one of the reasons that he graduated, right, was um, that he was drawn to the school because of the opportunities the school provided him in the after-school setting. But now we're, we're following up with him and trying to figure out where he is and, and what are his options. And not surprisingly, you know, the options are shrinking. Uh, you know, he's struggling just to find um, a basic, uh, you know, job in a, in a service retail or fast food uh, chain. You know, how do we, how do we remap and, and, and understand, right, alternative trajectories and alternative pathways uh, that allow these kids to find, um, you know, possibilities in their lives beyond high school?